All right, washed up a bit in the river. The city center is right behind us. We're thinking since this is not that big of a town, we want to go back to the station, go to the other end of it, and see if we can wait for another train towards Sarajevo, the capital. It'll be a bit more interesting to explore. We're in no rush, but we do kind of want to move out this town. So we're gonna wait for about a couple hours at the station. We don't want to wait till it's night. Train doesn't come until like six. We're just gonna go check out the center and then just go a bit out of town, find some place to sleep, wake up, catch a train to the capital tomorrow. Pretty chill. Nobody noticed us at the station. Going to the waiting spot now. All right, so this is basically the station. We hopped out far on the other end. Any train that is going to go is going to go a bit more in the middle near those abandoned wagons there. We're gonna cross to the other side to those abandoned wagons, wait in between till somebody rolls by and if nothing comes, like I mentioned, head into town, see what's there, find a place to camp, try tomorrow. Overgrown train tracks, nice mountain in the background. Looks sweet. All right, just gonna wait here. Hopefully something comes. Oh, it's very slow. No side mirrors. He's on the right track. Nobody's in the back. No, it's perfect. Let's get it. This was a bit random. Just as we was about to walk away, this train kind of pulled up. Let's just jump into it. The only problem is there were guys standing there and it's driving very slow. So I hope they're not going to check it or anything. I'm pretty sure it's not going to Sarajevo. I think it's going to the halfway factory between Sarajevo and Dubai. I think we left the guys that were standing at the end of the station checking if it's safe. So I think we're moving on forward. Sun's already setting. Okay, we drove about one station forward. It's kind of slowing down. I hope it's not gonna stop. I think it's just driving slow again because it's these small town stations. People constantly walk on the track, so they're being safe, I think. Everything's abandoned out here. It's crazy.
it. You can really just take in the scenery. Beautiful sunset. Ah, it is so chill. Okay, we still have a long way to go. So we're anticipating the train to stop here, halfway to Sarajevo. There is a processing plant there. We didn't make much distance, so it's gonna be a long ride, but very beautiful. So we are very close to Zenitsa right now and we're driving into this yard which is basically surrounded by one side with a factory and by the other with a river so we gotta hop out before because we're kind of going to be trapped but we'll see. Alright, let's do it here, it's slowing down. You check the right side, I'll check the left. Still a bit too fast to jump off, plus the terrain is like really hard to tell what it is. What? It's pretty good up. Yep. So lit up. Okay, there's the yard. It's very lit up. The train does not seem to be slowing down. Hopefully it will. It has to. I'm basically surrounded right now. No, just gotta wait. Too much bushes. It's slowing down, it's slowing down. Be careful. Oh, go, go, we're in the territory. There's really no way to run, actually. That's not this shit. You really want to put the perfect wish well, too. Yeah, just gotta be careful uh, right there near the end. Yeah, what the fuck is that? What are those lights at the bottom? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I forgot to change to super view. When I put the camera on my head, you'd have a fisheye, a bigger field of view. We're basically out of the factory territory. Still a bit sketchy if somebody sees us here. So I don't really want to use the normal light yet. But yeah, the ride was beautiful, scenic. The silhouettes of the mountains, which I still can see, they're everywhere. Around the Bosniak side of Bosnia, so many mosques in there. Lit up with LED green lights, look pretty cool. We made it. We're in Zenica. We got all the supplies. Just gotta find a place to sleep. So we have about one kilometer to the bridge. This side is more of the factory area. 15 minutes of walking left. Ok, 
Okay, so this is the bridge. Just right off the rails. Yeah, it, uh, it's cool. It's like a monkey bridge, all wobbly. There's civilization right there. Now what we gotta do is find somewhere away from it where we can sleep. That's not gonna be easy. Look at that poison found a little sanctuary. Fresh running water. Some uh, shit that I can't read. Beautiful. Fill the water supplies because definitely we're running low. All that's left to do now is and we're gonna go find a place to sleep. Now, since poison is in the tent, we're going to have to look for a bit more flatter area. Steep terrain all around us, but I'm pretty sure we'll find something that we're gonna have to look around. So far, it's amazing. It was a beautiful surf, and immediately we find a nice spot to regroup. It's perfect. Hiking up this mountain village road. Found this little clearing halfway up the mountain. Should be a place for him to set up a tent, for me to set up the hammock, and sleep for a couple of hours, hopefully, because it's gonna go to like at least minus two. But we're here, we're in Sanitza, man. Damn, like a day ago, surfing in this country seemed impossible because before you get that first train, everything seems like a fantasy. We chilled a bit in the boy, straight on to the next one. We already done like half the country. All right. Gotta move my, my little legs a tiny bit more. Okay, we're finally going off-road. I feel like one of these days we're gonna stumble on some weird stuff. We're going even more up. We saw some clearing a bit to the left from our road on Google Maps. A 2D view of a top-down satellite image gave us confidence to venture off into the perfectly flat terrain that awaits us. I hope we find something cool like a, like a serial killer's hideout or something. We just keep walking and we see pieces of like limbs scattered. Before we know it, we're split, running around in somebody's uh, little game, waiting to get killed. I hope so. Anything's more interesting than just climbing up this damn 90 degree mountain. Poison already stumbled on to the first clue of our murder mystery. Yeah, so. <gasps> it's a plastic box. Oh shit. Keep going. Oh, man. That's the clearing. Yeah. Flattest thing around here is the road in my chest. We can just go straight up, you know. It's probably abandoned. Perfect. Poison has a little flat area there. It's not perfect for either of us, but it's a nice compromise. Plus, we just could not resist this beautiful picnic desk. basically done I'm not putting up a tarp because it's gonna be a pretty clear night uh, but yeah I am tired as fuck all right I'm gonna get into this thing <laughs> I'm not playing games anymore poisons in his cocoon I'm in mine it's gonna be like around minus one tonight not that terrible uh other facts we're 500 meters above sea level pretty cool pretty neat tomorrow should be a pretty nice view yeah that's about it tired as hell but cute as fuck all right hopefully the trees won't break and i'll sleep more than one hour good night Good morning. It is so beautiful. Well, it was quite cold again. Woke up around four to do some push-ups to warm up. I think Poison is still sleeping. Definitely went down to minus degrees in the night again. It's ahead about three hours of sleep. Really want to get out and just take a good look at these mountains surrounding me. Looks so sweet.
even though the night was shit, really like waking up in the mountains. When Spoison wakes up, we're gonna pack up and I'll show you this uh, little lookout tower. It's not gonna elevate this that much, but I guess somebody's using this as a farm. Then gonna head down into town and see what we want to do from there. Alright, morning routine done. Going to check out that watchtower. It's just high enough to see over the trees into the city. Also, that thing is not a bunker. It's like a water reservoir. But yeah, there are more gardens there. I guess people are gonna come back, take care of it when the weather gets warmer. Yeah. Even the mountains right there have snow on them. It's probably like a close to a kilometer height. Well, staring at this view, we kind of planned out what we want to do next. We're gonna head down the hill, walk about an hour to the city center because we didn't really see any bus schedules or bus stops. And from Zenita center, we are going to take a bus to Sarajevo. This station is not that good to surf out of. We want to spend like a full day in Sarajevo just uh, checking out the place, hit up some rooftops. It is the capital of Bosnia, should be interesting. Inner city exploration, I guess, because we've been just skipping through cities a lot. Seems like it's gonna be beautiful day yeah it's nice damn this is beautiful Yeah, maybe it doesn't seem like it, but I wasn't kidding about the steepness when we were climbing this. Yeah, we just found this random path and started following it up. It led us to a pretty nice spot. I'm gonna go down this little village road back to the holy water refill station. It's gonna refill a bit and uh, keep on moving. It's gonna be quite the road to the city center if we don't find a bus, but it should be okay. That right there is the walk bridge that we crossed. There's not really a pathway, so it just leads to the tracks. But it's cool. I wouldn't say if the people we encounter here are not nice. They just really like to stare a lot, but I guess we're an interesting bunch. And yes, we do indeed wear these masks constantly while we walk with people. So this is the little bridge, you can see it in daytime. It's pretty fun actually, wouldn't mind jumping off of it. So these are the tracks we came in on and we basically walked all the way back from these tracks to this bridge. Now we're going to follow that road for about an hour, an hour and a half to Zenitsa city center because we didn't find any buses coming. So yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. 
for two years. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, in that, that. All right, so with that friendly taxi ride, we are in the center. After we walked like 30 minutes, we realized we just cannot walk an hour here and still enjoy the city properly. He dropped us off near the stadium. There is this big residential to the left. And before we go to the bus station to Sarajevo, I want to try the residential. Yeah, let's see if it works. See, we got 23 floors, baby. All right, let's go 22. I hope that the roof is gonna be accessible. Definitely feeling tired a bit, but want to get an overview of the city. Just as we planned. Okay, well, I guess this roof is wheelchair accessible. Intriguing. chill here for a bit, admire the view, relax because we've been on our feet since 7, so pretty tired. Yeah, that's the factory, which is basically one quarter of this town. It's really a big polluter here. Sarajevo. It's a big city. We're tired as fuck. We want to stay here at least a full day. Now we're about where we're gonna sleep. We're gonna rent something, shower, recharge. Oh, explosive shit. 